The whole world seems to be a buzz about Bitcoin and the so-called experts, well, they're coming out of the woodwork. I don't know much, but I know the future when I see it. In fact, I've built my entire career out of being early to the game. And this is what I believe is taking place. Now, the first thing you need to understand is what's happening right now is not about the price of Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin has had dramatic price swings and there's scammy sounding opportunists that are capitalizing on people's fear of missing out and on their greed. But this is all noise. Here's what you really need to understand. The world's financial systems are broken. The dollar goes down in value every year and the centralized banking system puts people at the mercy of their high fees and antiquated processes. Trust in the systems of the world, be them political or financial, are at an all-time low. When Satoshi Nakamoto released the now infamous Bitcoin white paper in October 2008, he proposed a new form of currency. It would be decentralized, meaning no one would have control over it. It would be peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning anybody could send money quickly and easily without ridiculous transaction fees. It would be anonymous, meaning nobody could stick their nose into your business. But without getting into the weeds too much of explaining how exactly Bitcoin works, I wanna focus on the real keyword that I just mentioned. It's not Bitcoin, it's not money, and it's not currency. The word is blockchain. And blockchain is the reason that Bitcoin is in the news. In 1993, a web browser was created and it changed the way we access information forever. In 1997, a company dared to take on the massive blockbuster video by creating an easier way to rent movies and eventually pivoted to become the leading streaming service that they are today. In 2007, an innovative smartphone was created that seized the market from Nokia and transformed the way that we consume information and interact. And in 2008, an idea was proposed that would forever alter not only how we make purchases, but how we manage contracts of every kind. You see, regardless of what happens with Bitcoin, blockchain is a revolutionary technology and it's here to stay. Furthermore, it's getting to disrupt just about every industry that you can think of that means yours too. So what makes Bitcoin a different type of currency? Well, for one thing, there's only 21 million of them ever, period. 17 and a half million of them are currently in circulation. The other three and a half million will come into circulation in the coming years. In fact, it's gonna take 120 years for them all to be in circulation. Of those in circulation, it's estimated that approximately four million of them are lost forever. And it's also believed that the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto, whoever he, she, or they are, have about one million Bitcoin in their possession. That means there's only actually 12 million Bitcoin available in circulation. How much printed money is out there? It's a seemingly endless supply. It's not hard to come by, it's not scarce, and whenever the government wants to, they just print more whenever they feel like it. I'm not a financial analyst, I'm not a financial advisor, but I am a futurist, and I can clearly see that a revolution is taking place right before our very eyes. Blockbuster video? didn't see it coming. Nokia didn't see Apple coming. Sears never saw Amazon coming. The world doesn't see blockchain coming, but it's here anyway, and it's not going away.